Welcome to Career Day Training Solutions. Myself Mohan and this is session 3 on number systems. In this video, I will show you how to find the unit digit of any number when raised in power. Here I have an example for you and the example starts from 730 power 431 to 9 power 34. Your objective is you have to solve the entire series and you have to find the last digit. If at all you want to solve this type of problem using traditional method, you will find it difficult, right? So here I have a short trick for you and the short trick will take a minimum of 1 minute to solve this type of problems. So basically we have 10 numbers, the number starts from 0 to 9. So we can divide these 10 numbers into 3 categories. The category 1 numbers are 0, 1, 5, 6. For your understanding, here I have marked with the Roman numbers. 0, 1, 5 and 6. Category 2 numbers are 2, 3, 4, I'm sorry, 2, 3, 7 and 8. And the final category is 4 and 9. So here I have classified the number based on the cyclicity. So the category 1 numbers ends with 0, 1, 5 and 6. So if you find any number ending with 0, 1, 5 and 6, you no need to worry about the power. Always the last number remains the same. For example, you have 20 power 434. So here the last digit is 0, right? So if the last digit is 0, you no need to look the power. However, the last digit is going to end with 0 only. Example, 20 power 434. So 20 into 20 into 20 up to 434 times. However, the last digit is going to 0. Similarly for 1, 5 and 6, the last digit is going to going to be same. Example 75 power 437. The last digit is 5. 36 power 439. The last digit is 6. 31 power 41. The last digit is 1. I hope you are clear with this first category numbers, right? So if it is first category number ends with 0, 1, 5, 6, whatever the power you no need to worry, the last digit remains the same. Now moving to second category. The second category numbers are 2, 3, 7, 8. Let me write it separately. 2, 3, 7 and 8. Now 2 power 1, the last digit is 2. 2 square, last digit is 4. 2 cube, last digit is 8. 2 power 4, last digit is 6 because it is 16 right so last digit is 6 2 power 5 32 so last digit is 2 2 power 6 64 so last digit is 4 now if you observe this series closely the number is repeating for every 4 times 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 6 2 4 8 6 repeat for every 4 times so we can call the cyclicity of the number 2 is 4 Similarly for 3, 7 and 8, the cyclicity remains the same. So the cyclicity of the number 3, 7 and 8 is 4. Let me show you how. 3 power 1, the last digit is 3. 3 square, the last digit is 9. 3 cube, 27. So last digit is 7. 3 power 4, 81. So last digit is 1. 3 power 5, 243. So once again, the last digit is 3. And similarly, next digit will be 9. So 3, 9, 7, 1, 3, 9, 7, 1, 3, 9, 7, 1, 3, 9, 7, 1 and so on. And 7 power 1, last digit is 7, 7 square, 49, 7 cube, 343, 7 power 4. So you don't know uh, what is the number, right? So you no need to multiply the complete 343 with 7. So you have to find only last digit, right? So multiply the last digit of 343 with 7. So 3 into 7, you will get 1 at last. And again, 7, 9, 3, 1, so on. 8 power 1, 8. 8 square 64 so 4, 8 cube 512 so last digit 2, 8 power 4, 8 into 2, last digit 6, next 8, 4, 2, 6. So the cyclicity of the number 2, 3, 7 and 8 is 4 right. So for every 4 times the number you should to repeat. So let me explain with an example. So here the example is. Twenty two power four hundred and forty seven. So here the last digit ends with two, and in power you have four hundred and forty seven. 
so you can't able to uh, you can't able to uh, go like this 22 power 1 last digit is 2 22 power 2 last digit is 4 22 power 3 last digit is 8 and up to you can't able to find 22 power 447 it consume lot of time so here you have to divide the last two digit of the power by 4 because the cyclicity of the number 2 is 4 right so divide the last two digit of the number by 4 so 47 by 4 the remainder is 3 right 47 by 4 you will get the remainder to be 3 so if the remainder is 3 you have to look the number below 3 so 2 power 3 the last digit is 8 so similarly you will get the last digit to be 8 so let me repeat one more time so you have 22 power 447 to find the last digit you are dividing the last two numbers of the power by 4 and the remainder happens to be 3 so if the remainder is 3 you have to look the number below 3 with respect to 2 so 2 power 3 the last digit is 8 right so i have an another example for you the next example is 3 power 48 so here the last digit ends with 3 so cyclicity of the number 3 is also 4 right now divide the last two digit of the power by 4 so 48 by 4 you will get the remainder 0 so if the remainder is 1 you have to write 3 at last remainder is 2 you can write 9 at last if remainder is 3 you can write 7 at last and if the remainder is 0 which number you will take obviously you have to take the power of 4 because you will get the remainder 1 2 3 but not 4 because 4 is perfectly divisible by 4 right so obviously you will get 0 at last so when you get 0 as the remainder you have to look the number below 4 so 3 power 4 the last digit is 1 so here the last digit is going to be 1 right so similarly you have to follow the same process for 7 and 8 now you have a third category number the third category number is 4 and 9 4 and 9 4 power 1 the last digit is 4 4 square 16 so last digit 6 4 cube 64 so last digit 4 so and 4 6 4 6 4 6 and so on because the cyclicity of the number 4 is 2 right similarly for 9 9 power 1 you will get 9 at last 9 square 81 so last digit is 1 9 cube 729 so last digit is 9 and the next number is obviously going to be 1 so 9 1 9 1 because the cyclicity of the number 4 and 9 is 2 right for every two times the same number is going to repeat so if the cyclicity is 4 you have to divide the last two digit of the power by 4 so here you no need to divide the last two digit of the power by 2 because 4 power odd number you will get 4 at last 4 power even number you will get 6 at last similarly 9 power odd number you will get 9 as the unit digit and 9 power even number you will get 1 as the unit digit for example 444 right 444 power 327 so here the last digit is 4 and at the power you have an odd number so 4 power odd number you will get 4 at last right so here the last digit is 4 so this simple process is called as the cyclicity of the numbers by using the cyclicity only we are going to solve this problem So first number 730 power 431 so 0 is in category 1 number so if you have a category 1 number at last you have to mark the same number as the answer last digit right so 0 power 431 last digit is going to 0 plus 1 power 49 so last digit 1 category 1 so you have to mark 1 as the last number 32 power 248 last digit is 2 and at the power you have 248 so cyclicity of the number 2 is 4 so divide the last two digit of the power by 4 so 48 by 4 right so if it is 48 by 4 you will get the remainder to be 0 so if the remainder is 0 which number you have to take you have to look the number below the power 4 right so if the remainder is 0 you have to look 2 power 4 so the last digit is going to 6 right so the last digit is going to be 6 and 93 power 291 divide the last two digit of the power by 4 so 91 91 uh, by 4 the remainder is going to 3 so if the remainder is 3 you have to look 3 power 3 
so 3 power 3 the last digit is going to 7 right so the last digit will be 7 and 64 power 94 so 4 is a category 3 number so if it is category 3 number 4 power even number so 4 power even number what we have to mark so 4 power even number you will get 6 as the unit digit so the last digit is going to be 6 so 5 is a category 1 number so 5 power 475 obviously the last digit is going to be the same number so it is 5 and 6 is also in category 1 number right so 36 power 36 the last digit is going to be same 6 so 77 power 49 so 7 is in category 2 number so the cyclicity of the number 7 is 4 so divide the last two digit of the power by 4 so 49 by 4 the remainder happens to be 1 so 7 power 1 you will get 7 at last right so the last digit is 7 plus 818 power 390 8 uh, cyclicity of the number 8 is 4 so divide the last two digit of the power by 4 so 19 by 4 you will get the remainder to be 3 so when the remainder is 3 you have to look the power below 3 so 8 power 3 you have 2 at the unit place so the last digit is going to be 2 right and 9 is a category 3 number so if it is category 3 number 9 power you have an even digit so if it is even digit you have to mark 1 as the unit digit so in this way you can easily find the answer so just add all the numbers you will get 6 plus 1 7 7 plus 7 14 14 plus 6 20 25 31 38 40 41 so the last digit is going to be 1 and you have carry 4 to the tens digit you no need to worry about carry in this case since you have to find only the last digit so the number is going to be 1 i hope you understood the concept clearly right so before before winding up this session please subscribe my channel and click the bell, bu bell button to get the instant notification and like this video share it to your friends if you hold any doubt please pause it on the comment section below thank you for watching have a nice day